Hello family and welcome back to our Herb and Word Wednesdays here at Redeemer One House of Worship. I'm Pastor Cole. Greetings again brothers and sisters on this Wednesday. We're here at Redeemer One. We want to share uh, some of the great information and knowledge and also the benefits related to these herbs that God has so rooted in the earth for our benefits and our blessings. But also each and every Wednesday family, we like to tie that into just a little bit of the Word of God so that we can give God glory on each and every day. And so with that being said, brothers and sisters, if we could go to God in prayer, we're going to get right to one of these fantastic herbs for today. Father God, we come to you once again, Lord, saying, thanking you, Holy Father. Thanking you for your guidance this week. Thanking you for your mercy this week, Father God. God, thank you for your provisions this week. And oh God, we just, we ask today, God, that you will just lift us up in a mighty way that we can be a blessing to one another, that we can encourage one another, that oh Father God, that we could share with one another and let it all be for your glory. God, thank you for the covering that you so have given to our families and our children throughout the week. And let, oh Father God, today be the day, oh Father God, that we can shout out once again, thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for what he did for us at the cross. Thank you for forgiveness of our sins. So Father God, it be in his name that we ask, and in your name that we give all glory. And I'll confirm with a mighty, 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 amen. Again, brothers and sisters, I'm excited to share this week's herb with you, which, oh, brothers and sisters, I'm fascinated to know. Uh, this herb is called the hibiscus herb, and it's founded in Hawaii. It's a Hawaiian herb. Also, it can be found in Fiji, uh, but it's actually Hawaii state flower. An herb is actually a state flower in Hawaii. So glory be to God, brothers and sisters. Again, it's called the hibiscus herb. Um, its age is between 40 AD and 90 AD. So we know, brothers and sisters, that God has so root planted these herbs into this earth for all of his children uh, to be beneficiaries of. And so we just thank God for it. We confirm it with the A's and the origin, but also here are some of the great benefits of the hibiscus herb. It says our brothers and sisters that it has plentiful antioxidants and you know by tuning in with us each and every Wednesdays that antioxidants are such a blessing for the temple God has raised up. It also lowers blood pressure. My God, my God, lowers blood pressure. Uh, it boosts liver health. It promotes the metabolism and also reduces inflammation of the body. That's a lot, brothers and sisters, for the herb today, which is the hibiscus herb. And again, my brothers and sisters, we also want to bring forth a little bit of word, but with everything we've heard today by the hibiscus herb, I think the point of reference today should be urgency. Today's point of reference for this herb or the word Wednesday is urgency. A little bit of scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, and we'll just read verses 29, 30, and 31 that touches on urgency. And here's God's word. What I mean, brothers and sisters, is that the time is short. From now on, those who have wives should live as if they do not.
those who mourn as if they did not. Those who are happy as if they were not. Those who buy something as if it were not theirs to keep. Those who use these things of the world as if it not engrossed in them. For this world, in its present form, is passing away. Brothers and sisters, from those three short scriptures, it tells you that we are in a sense of urgency when it comes to getting our, our bodies in health, good health when it comes to the clean aspects of these herbs in terms of this temple that God has raised up for his glory. It's, it's urgency time, brothers and sisters. Let's not let another day go by, another week go by, another month go by without looking into some of these great aspects and benefits of the cleansing powers of this herb and how it correlates to this body. So we pray, brothers and sisters, that the information today be a blessing to your spirits. But also, each and every Wednesday, we want to make sure very clear and that it be known. Here's our disclaimer. I am not a doctor, and I strongly suggest that if you have any kind of underlying medical issues, or if you're on any kind of prescription or seeing a doctor for any reason whatsoever, make sure, brothers and sisters, that we use wisdom before using these herbs. Make sure you contact your physician, talk it over with them, get their counseling and their feedback before you use one of these great benefits that God has so placed and rooted into the earth for our benefits and our blessings. But again, also, brothers and sisters, I'm often asked, where do we find these herbs? Again, my reply is very simple. I go to the local Whole Foods stores within my local city, and I can pick them up, and they're pretty feasible to find. But also, you can go to a website. Uh, the website is called Mountain Rose Herbs. MountainRoseHerbs.com at mountainroseherbs.com, no brothers and sisters, you can actually order uh, any particular herb, but it'll be delivered to your front door. So hopefully, brothers and sisters, that either one of those options or whatever that you may be using in terms of uh, supply in your area, that you can find some of these wonderful herbs. And with that being said, brothers and sisters, I hope and pray that what was shared with you today will be a blessing to your spirits, but more importantly, you'll go out and be a blessing to others. Have a great day.